H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. Welcome to the mock session. People, welcome to the mock session. People, the first five minutes of the mock session will be repeated in each and every mock session. The first five minutes of this session will be repeated in each and every mock session. So in this five minutes, people, I'll let you know how to frame an answer. I will let you know what should be your approach while answering a question at the time of interview. So that's the instruction what I'll be giving you in this five minutes. So people always remember, so whenever, whenever you want to talk Whenever you want to say even a single word at the time of interview, remember it should match with your resume. It should fall in sync with the resume. Okay. Let's say people, if this is a resume, let's say um, the reason most pilot says uh, Bank, Bank of America, New York. Uh, let's say previous to that, that let's say your uh, resume says uh, your resume says Chase Ohio, that is Columbus Ohio. Let's say previous to that, let's say it says uh, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo, that is in San Francisco, let's say. Okay, let's say if this is your resume. Let's say people, if somebody asks you, do you know Vizio? If somebody asks you, that, that is the interview asks you, do you know Vizio? How do you answer this? How do you answer this? People remember, the very first thing is, always you got to start with a very positive yes statement. Saying that, yes, I am good with Vizio. Yes, I am you know proficient okay proficient with visio okay or else you can say i am experienced okay in visio or you can use little bit my milder words saying that i am familiar people let's say if you're not that confident with the uh, question being asked you can take a uh, the uh, second set of words that is I'm familiar or you can say I have knowledge okay or you say uh, or you can say I have idea something like that so yes I'm good with visual yes I'm proficient with your with visual so this makes the first statement people second step what you do is okay you got to give number of years of experience you have so you can say I have uh, okay I have three years of experience three years of work experience you can say that would be more appropriate or let's say people if you're not that confident so you can uh, you can use such words i have one year of academic experience means let's say you have learned in the college or institute where you got a degree something like that i have one year of academic experience okay something like this and people step number three just talk about it or give a definition Uh, give a definition or just talk about it or just talk about it people okay step number four people you got to relate yes this is very important people especially when you put experience in your resume this becomes very important relate so that is you can say i've used visio in my project with bank of america to make mock-ups okay or else you can say um, i've used visio to make use case diagram when I work with Chase Bank. I've used Visio to make activity diagram when I worked in Wells Fargo. See people, the point is, you're trying to sell a different story for a different project. Remember, that's very important. You try to sell a different story for a different project. See here, for Bank of America, I'm selling mock-up. For Chase Bank, I'm selling use case diagram. For Wells Fargo, I'm selling activity diagram. See, this is how it goes. People, I'll give you three minutes. I want everybody to make note of information. What is the definition? See nothing, Vivek, just talk about it. For example, in this case for Visio, you can say that um, Visio is a Microsoft tool. It is used to make UML diagrams. See such things. Okay, Disha, why is that you're not able to hear?
the okay um i will look into the email uh, the pali but in, in any case call me on monday because i'm flying to canada for saturday sunday call me on monday okay no this session is not off okay what's the difference uh, between talk and relate see nothing see uh, give a definition simple as that just talk about it see relating means here you're talking about uh, by relating to the projects here just definition means just definition or just talk about that particular tool or that particular question relate means you are relating to the project there's a project word that gets added when i say relate the, the, okay all right so people know what happens is i'll start giving you um, one question at a time um, i expect you to frame an answer people what happens is every uh, week we pick up a topic okay so this uh, we pick up a module to be very precise so this week people it's about documentation and in fact that's the most important one okay i'll start posting uh, the um, questions people i expect you to frame an answer for that okay there you go this is a question number one people so question number one is have you worked on uh, brd that's a question people have you worked on brd that's a question people i want uh, answers in the chat box people okay so let me show you the um, again a, a nice format of it people uh, let me show you a nice format of it so you see this people this should be the format can you see this okay can you see this people here you know um, yes i have worked i have five years of ex work experience in preparing brd brd is a document that ho that hold high level business requirement in my project with the bank of america brd was called a scope statement the name was company specific yes people sometimes it is called scope statement i remember in my first project with wells fargo in san francisco we did not make brd as it was company specific yes people there's so many situations you don't make a brd brd is not a great document also, my uh, my project in Columbus, Ohio, we were two BAs and both were responsible in contributing to BRD. Same. The point is, I'm trying to tell a different story to a different project. Okay, people, I'll give you two minutes. I want you to make note of information. Okay, so that's again a different approach of doing that. Yes, yes. So we can uh, discuss about that later if you want. Okay, Deepali, call me Monday on 12:30 to 1:30. We'll talk about it. Sure, um, Ola, I can help you on that. People, let's move to the next question. Uh, let's move to the next question. So my next question is, have you worked on FRD? That's the question, people. Okay, have you worked on FRD? That's the next question. Okay, well experienced. Yeah, you can also use that word. Now, Neeth. Okay, fine. Looks fine. So in the meantime, people, let me show you the right uh, format or another format of it. I, I would not say right format. Even your format is correct, people. But this is my way of uh, expressing it. <clears throat> people, I'll give you two minutes. Kindly make note of it. So here, it's, here I say I have uh, five years of work experience in preparing a FRD. FRD is a document that holds information about the requirements. In my recent most project with Bank of America, FRD was called as FSD. Yes, people, FRD is also called as FSD. Okay. I remember in my first project with Wells Fargo, where I joined at the mid of the project. See, I'm just trying to tell a different thing that I joined at the mid of the project. I was responsible in making entire FRD. Okay. Also, my project in Columbus, Ohio, we were two BAs. Both were responsible in contributing to FRD. Something like that, people. Okay. So, but people um, telling a different story for a different project is very important. Okay. So, you've got to put a practice of uh, doing that. Fine. So, people now. Um, okay uh, so let me kind of you know give you an idea about how to answer such a question people tell me about your previous project people i want everybody to pay attention this is the assignment okay this is the assignment tell me about your previous project how will you frame an answer how will you research an answer for that see for this people it's quite simple um see uh, let's say if the, if the project what you have put up is uh, insurance claim process let's say see all what you have to do is just go to google i'll teach you uh, how to um, research a material people how to research a material or how to find the, the words how to understand the process let me teach you that so let's say people um, you have put up a project uh, related to insurance claim process so what you do is just type the word insurance claim process so that is what you wanted right insurance claim process just add a word called as flow okay just do that and people this is how it looks now what just click on this word images what you have here very simple so now people it gives you hundreds of diagrams 
which actually explains how this insurance claim process works and just you have to convert that into words see for example here it says you know there's a uh, um, there's a, a company customer approaches network hospital for cashless treatment hospital verifies the customer details and sends pre authorization by fax and the company verifies the pre authorization de details with policy benefits and sends response to the hospital see what i'm trying to say is let's see if your project is related to insurance claim process let's say i'm just taking that as an example just add the word insurance claim process add the word flow and click on the word image you should get uh, you know plenty of materials or let's say people um, if if you have put something related to credit card let's say credit card uh, um, credit card process okay process um process flow just add the word flow okay so again you know it shows you again there's so much of uh, diagrams that explains you know how the credit card thing works see merchant in storefront acquiring bank see if you go through this it will give you complete details okay or let's say um uh, let's say if you want to know um how this online purchase works i'm just taking that as an example people okay i'm taking that as an example okay online purchase flow diagram let's say you can also say flow diagram you can also add the word flow diagram people okay see again there's so much of uh, diagrams you know which explains about that okay so basically people this is how you do and now the assignment is people i want you to exp uh, you know um, create eight lines or nine lines or ten lines write up about insurance claim process i showed you how to research the material okay insurance I, I, please explain me how insurance claim pro, how insurance claim works how insurance people this is the um, task for you and people i want the answer by tuesday i want 8 to 10 lines write up on the same i want 8 to 10 lines write up on the same okay this is the assignment for you people see the question is how insurance claim works okay eight to ten lines right up i want it in the email people now tell me does anybody have any question people again next week uh, we'll be we'll discuss about sdlc and requirements next week we'll discuss about sdlc and requirement okay